Welcome. In this video, I will discuss function parameters. So what are function parameters? Well, sometimes we need some extra information from the calling function in order for the called function to run. Well, how do we do that? We use parameters and these parameters make it so we don't have to make a function only do one static task and so we can reuse that function to do more than just one static task. These parameters make a link between the calling function and the called function. These parameters can be of any data type. And one thing to note is that functions can have zero or more parameters. So what do functions with parameters look like? Well, here is a function func1, which has no parameters. You can tell it has no parameters because there is no parameters inside of the parentheses. So when you call this function, it would just be func1 with some empty parentheses. Here we have func2, which has an integer parameter of a. And when you call this func2, you would call it by saying func2 and then just putting some integer inside of the parentheses you wouldn't put int and then the integer. You would just put an integer there, and this function 2 would be able to take that integer. This function 4 has three, has three parameters, the first one being int a, the second one being double b, and the third one being this string c. When you call this function, you would need to pass it three parameters, and those parameters are separated by commas. You would pass it an integer in the first place, comma, a double in the second place, comma, a string in the third place. And they would have to be in that order. If you put a string at the beginning and then an integer and a double, this function call would not work because this function only takes in its parameters in the order of a integer, a double, and then a string. And lastly, we have this func5, which takes a string parameter. It's its only parameter, and you would have to pass a string to this function. And if you tried to pass something that's not a string, then it would not be able to work because this func5 does not take in another data type. It takes in a string. So you would have to call this func5 with a string. So there are two types of parameters. There is formal parameters and there is actual parameters. The formal parameters are going to be the parameters or variables defined in the header of the function. And the actual parameters are going to be the parameters, and those can be variables or expressions that are defined in the calling function. And what does that mean? Well, the formal parameters are going to be the parameters that are up here in the header of the function, the ones that you are able to use by name here in your function. And the actual parameters are going to be the parameters that you are passing over here in the call to the function. So if I had this say in a variable called neg10, I wouldn't be able to call that neg10 from over here. So how would I do that? Or how would I get that neg10? I would pass it in this parameter right here. And when I pass that neg10, which would be an integer equivalent to negative 10, it would pass it over to this ABS function, which would then take that neg10, copy it into this num variable, and then you are able to use that neg10. But by calling it num, at least in this case, here inside of the function. And that is all I have for you for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.